back at the maintenance job. Uh, we were here two weeks ago. And uh, we've done the maintenance on it, done a video on it, and then we put uh, Moscow down. So I'm just going to run the scarifier over now. It's just going to be a light one. It's not going to be heavy. It's not going to be a heavy duty scarifier, but it is going to, it is going to be getting all the bits of moss out that's that shouldn't be there. And I'd be amazed how much comes out. And to be honest, the lawns aren't looking too bad. This is only it's had one cut this year, so it's not too bad. And I did only use the mulching mower as you saw in the video. So you know the stripes aren't great, but uh, but we're getting there. But I'm be amazed to see how much comes out of it anyway. So let's get on with it. I must I must point out that any eagle-eyed viewers, which we do have a few, will have noticed that I haven't fixed the cable on the on the aerator. The cable broke, and I used a piece of string to uh, to get me out of a pickle, but I just haven't changed it. <laughs> I am bad. But if it works, it works. It might snap again in a minute, but at least I've got more string. But I will fix it. Well, I've decided to do a second pass, um, almost 90 degrees to it, doesn't really matter, as long as I'm doing a second pass, because I just, when I got to that corner there, and I was bringing the scarifier back round, as I went over this, it seemed to go a lot thicker, and you can just see a couple of passes I've tried there, and I've just tried it down here, and it is bringing more out, so we might as well get it out while we're here. So I'll give it another couple of run over, well, another run over.
And as, as you'll see here, I'm using another one of those uh, seed and fertilizer spreaders, but it's not me whiz one that I usually use. Um, the batteries run out of it. And every time I went to use it, I didn't replace the batteries. It's my own fault, just an idiot. But I saw one of these and I just had a little go of it and I thought, you know what, to save buying the batteries for the other one and in future, I'm gonna use this one. And up to now it's great. There is nothing wrong with the whiz and you know, I've still got it. It's just to save buying the batteries, to be honest with you. Okay, okay, they're done. Um, on to the next one and let that food do its thing till next time we come. So, next time we come, we'll have nice stripes in there. And especially for those viewers from, say, the likes of America, who wonder why we all, why we use push mowers and small machines, <laughs> this is why.
and that's the second one done, front and back, into the third. Okay, well as you can see it's only a tiny tiny garden and I think it would be more hassle to try and get the aerator in and the uh, scarifier in. So what I'm going to do is just use these uh, hand tools and I have done a video on these so if you want to take a look at that but we'll give it a go with these. If you do use this one, the hand one, or, may, or even a um, machine, and you live at home, then you can choose the day. I've got to do this because I'm here today, and it slightly is a bit wet. Um, it was absolutely um, teeming down yesterday. So the cores aren't coming out all the time, all the cores, but it's still putting holes in, so it's still good. But it would be better on a not dry but damp day. So you can see the holes see the plugs so all the plugs they're not coming out constant but it's I'm still happy because it's putting the holes in which is air which can get the air and the oxygen in and the, the, the bad gases out so we'll keep on with that So I just used a manual air, air racer, sorry, and now I'm using a rake which is designed to get the moss and the thatch out. I'll put a link in the description for both of them and as as I said on the on the text uh, a minute ago there'll be a link for the video to, about these tools. They are very handy. I mean they are tiring and they are back breaking, no two ways about it. But they're specifically for someone who wants to take the time at their own house um, at their leisure and stop when they want to. Okay, well we're back to the fourth one now and we're going to scarify it. It doesn't look like it needs scarifying but it does, trust me. And also look what's coming through as well. So some little road, road grasses, I'm going to have to try and, try and get them out. There's two and I think there's a couple over there as well. See there's quite a few coming through really. What I'll do is I'll try and get them out with... Oh, it's in the back of the van. With the little uh, dandelion digger failing now, I'll put some weed killer on them at a later date if we don't get them on. So let's get on with the scarifying. I'm going to just use the daisy.
the strings gone. Okay, fixed. Let's see if it's worked. So as you can hear the wind there, uh, blowing against the mic, I had to use the old fashioned rake because there's no way I could have used the blower on this. As soon as it was off the ground airborne it would have been everywhere. I do use the blower in the back because it's more contained with the fences, but this front, it was bad news with the wind. And thanks for watching, they're all done now until we return in two weeks to start, sort of basically start the maintenance. Don't forget if you enjoyed it, please subscribe, it helps the channel grow, helps us do what we're doing, giving you more videos. So, if you do subscribe, don't forget to press the bell, that gives you the notifications when our fabulous new videos are uploaded. Well I hope you have enjoyed it anyway, I hope it's give someone a bit of interest. And I'll see you all on the next small screen episode.